Hello, happy Tuesday. It is May 12th, and we are going to get started today on some really fun science stuff. You are going to be talking about making sound. And later in the week, we're actually going to be able to make some things that make our own sounds, like guitars and drums and things. You're going to love that. So let's talk about how they work, though. You need to understand how they work before you can make one. So if you touch your throat, hold up two fingers and put them right on the front of your neck and hum a little bit. Do you feel a little something moving on your neck and your, your throat? That's because your throat vibrates when you hum. I'm doing it now just when I'm talking to you and I can feel a little vibration on the front of my neck. It moves back and forth quickly. When objects vibrate, they make a sound. So what's the sound I'm making? It's actually the sound of my voice talking to you. The same exact thing happens when you pluck a guitar string. In fact, inside your throat are a bunch of little strings that look very similar to a guitar string. And if you were to pluck a guitar string, you would see it start to shake and vibrate. You can hear a sound coming from it. And then if you touch it after it's shaking, the string will stop vibrating and that stops the sound. So objects vibrate in different ways. See, he's plucking these strings and they'll shake. See, this one on top is shaking. If we were to touch it, that would stop the shaking and the vibration is what makes the sound, so the sound would stop. Same thing happens when we beat a drum. If you take a drumstick or even just your hands and start banging on the top of the drum, the top of the drum will start to vibrate and that's why we hear the sound come from the drum. And these children are holding recorders. You might have seen the, the kids at school in the recorder club. When they blow air through here and close up the, di the different holes on the top of the recorder, the air inside starts to vibrate and that's what makes a sound. So look at these pictures. Which two of these objects are vibrating to make a sound? Right, if you said when he rubs that bow across the violin strings, it makes them shake or vibrate, you're right, that's making a sound. And also, if you said that banging these big drumsticks across the top of that drum makes it shake and vibrate, you pick the other one that makes a sound. Is this apple doing anything? No. And the soccer ball's not either. So. The only two things that are vibrating to make a sound are the strings on the violin and the top of the drum. So now we're gonna take a look in your workbook and you'll find this page that says page two at the top, making sound. And it says, look at each of these pictures and circle the part that is making a sound by vibrating. Well, if you think about it, I think that I would circle the string, right? Because when we pluck it with our fingers, it makes it shake, and that is making the sound. And I would also say, let's circle these bars that go across. You might have had this toy when you were little. It's called a xylophone, and when you tap on it, it sings a song, doesn't it? Because when you tap it, it starts to vibrate, and that makes the sound. And then I would also circle the top of this drum because when we bang it with the drumsticks, that makes a sound too, doesn't it? All right, let's go back and take another look at the next, I wanna stop that. The next thing, oh, okay, I see how to do it, okay. So the next thing we wanna look at is how then do we make the things vibrate? Okay, so when, have you ever seen an airplane fly by and you can, you can not only hear it, but you can actually kind of feel it shaking the air around you if it's close enough, right? You may have even noticed that the windows in your house might start to rattle and shake a little bit. What's making that happen? Well, the sound coming from the engines here on the plane is so loud it's making such a loud sound that it's shaking all the air around it and that air is what's pushing on the windows and making the window vibrate. 
you can try that yourself too. If you were, if anyone in your house has um, a musical instrument that they've been learning at school and you have them play a note into it, if you held a piece of paper right here in front of it, that piece of paper would start to vibrate because the sound coming out of it would bounce off the paper and shake the paper. Pretty cool, right? So let's see. If you hold a piece of paper close to your mouth when you're singing, the piece of paper will start to vibrate. Why is that? What's making the paper vibrate? Look, is it the sound of your voice or was your hand shaking it? Right, it's actually the sound you're making while singing. The sound is coming out from your mouth and it's shaking the air and it's bouncing off the paper and it would make the paper vibrate. So let's take a look now back at your workbook page. And remember what we said? Pretend a plane is flying by. A window rattles. Why? Which is the reason that the window started rattling? Was it because the sound from the plane made the window vibrate or the plane hit the window? Gosh, I hope not. Which one would you say? Yeah, I think it's because the sound from the plane has made the window vibrate, right? Right, okay. So we are going to, um, later in the week, we're gonna make some things, some instruments just like this that are gonna be able to make our own sounds. You're gonna love it. And you're gonna be having to put them together and make them have parts that will shake and vibrate to make different kinds of sounds, okay? I'm gonna skip math for right now. And I want everyone to get up and get ready for some fun, shake out some sillies, get some energy going. Who's ready for some Go Noodle? Sometimes champs need to change the pace. Run in slow motion. 
Run slow as molasses. Slow but sure. Now straddle your legs. Go from one foot to the other foot. Super slow. One foot, other foot. Y'all take it slow, you know. And squat as slow and low as you can go. Whoa! Slow down as you go down. So we slow and steady on this race. That was awesome. Give yourself a self bye. Okay, everybody, wasn't that fun? So the last thing we're going to look at today is a story by the, the Storybox, okay? And this is called The Storybot Super Songs, Episode 4. It's all about shapes, okay? I'm going to give you the link to this. So after you have cooled down, had yourself a little drink, go to this link and watch this story about all the shapes we've been learning. All right, and then stop and have a snack break and come back for some super kids practice. See you in a few minutes.